So I wanted to turn this into a guide, but unfortunately doing so is a little bit over my head because I don't really understand what's going on at all. But I'm going to do my best to try to explain it here. So this has, this revolves around Vert Manager. And Vert Manager allows you to deal with virtual machines, VMs. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to connect this first off. And you can see we have Fedora Rawhide and we have uh, Serpent OS. I just called it Linux 2022. I don't know why I just decided to. And in both of these, we actually have an implementation that's called EGL Headless. Because the current method of OpenGL acceleration for NVIDIA doesn't work. So what we have to do is we have to create a new graphics. That's what it's called. So if we go to add hardware, you can see graphics is right there. We have to add a new one of these and then we have to change it in the XML to this graphics type EGL headless. And then it needs to be render node slash dev slash NVIDIA zero. That's your graphics card. This only applies to NVIDIA. All right. Maybe it works on AMD too. I don't know. I think you guys have the easy way out as always. Imagine that till you get a regression, which constantly happens, by the way. Most people don't know what happens behind the scenes. It's hilarious. And then, you know, we enable all this stuff. But what this does, the most important thing that it does is gives you graphics acceleration within the VM itself. You know how important that is? This is like ridiculous. It's a huge upset it just it changes everything it does and that's what i enjoy the fact that it changes everything sure you're not gonna have like uh 1440p inside of the vm still but at least you're gonna have the ability to get things done so if i go like this this is a this is a fully accelerated vm and i know it doesn't look like it but if i open this up and i do this you'll notice that, yeah, we have uh, features and we have OpenGL support. It's just really wobbly still. Because again, this is not the resolution of my display, 10, not 1080p, but there it is. It also shows you all the command line stuff for whatever they're doing. I tried to install the NVIDIA drivers, but well, let's check it out. We have acceleration. Now, <laughs> Again, trying to do this was difficult at first until I found the right guide. And I'm going to be adding the guide for this to my, um, what do you call it? Discord. Let's see. We have a benchmark. Moss search GL mark. I doubt they, they added GL mark. Of course they didn't. Damn. I don't like 60 FPS. Ugh. It's horrible these days. Look at that. I don't like it. Like, it's a lot smoother than it should be because we have VRR on and this is a full screen like thing. So it's not like having many issues and there's not really any tearing going on because of that. So it's, uh, I mean, I guess it works. But 60 FPS, and you know, anything just feels bad now. And another way you can tell that we have GL acceleration is the fact that we're having animations in GNOME because the animations don't happen unless you're accelerated. So there you go. So why was this video important? Well, to show you that, you know, you can get this done. You can have acceleration in your VMs and you could use them uh, kind of normally. Ooh, perfect way to actually see if we have acceleration is to install Steam. Let's do that. Is there a point to this? Is there a point to installing Steam? I don't know. But we're going to do it anyway. <clears throat> we're going to let that do its thing. Another cool thing that I did was... Um, what was it? I installed the Wi-Fi card into my desktop. And I'm passing through the Wi-Fi into the VM, so I actually have acceleration and stuff, which is nice. Let's open up Steam here. Look at it download. It's downloading. Look at it go. It's so fast. Said no one ever. This is only a Wi-Fi 6 card, so it's not like fast or anything. It's going pretty quick, though. N 
so I went into big picture mode. If you don't want to think about big picture mode, it's uh, GPU accelerated. And if it's not, it ends up feeling really slow and it doesn't feel slow at all, which is really nice. Now, do we have any general settings here? We do, but they're not the ones that I want. We do have system, which is nice. So Steam beta updates there. And uh, third party licensing. There it is, video driver. We're using Mesa 4.3. It is using the Mesa Virgil GL LLVM pipe, which does have GL compatibility and acceleration. VRAM size 1.9 terabytes. It's terrible. That's terrible. Oh man. We should seize our GPU and our, our CPU. Everything looks good. So we can get back to the main library. I can maybe find Turok. Because I know uh, Turok 1 is an OpenGL game. Okay. Turok 2 used Vulcan. I remember this. This is something I remember. So clicking here, when is it going to start downloading? Any day now. I'm going to let this download. Oh, there it goes. All right. So it's downloading pretty quick. All right. Starting download for the game continent now. And yeah, it's going pretty quick so far. Oh, it's shader caching. Uh disabled that. You don't need that, by the way. You don't need uh, pre-compiled shaders anymore. Big misconception. Disable it in your downloads. It's the very bottom. It's hidden. But uh, it's been made very pointless. All right, let's see if Turok actually runs. And if it does, well, guess what that means? That's what I thought. Sure, it's just a video, but we need to get in game. Okay. Dinosaur Hunter. There's no audio, though. Can I just, like... Nope. Yeah, mouse is not going to do anything. Let's try this. Okay, what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna exit big picture mode because I know there can be some issues with it. See? Wow. Oh my god, it's fully playable. Minus the fact that I can't actually turn my, uh, like the mouse is not locked in at all, but that's pretty cool. How cool is that? <clears throat> well, there you go. So GPU acceleration is awesome. And it does work. I'd probably use Gamescope with that so I could lock in the mouse. But again, uh, we do have actual GL rendering. Maybe it's all CPU. I don't know. <clears throat> it says Verge GL. So my guess is that we did what we were supposed to do and it works because this is so much smoother than it was before. If this was LLVM pipe wire, I mean, we would have none of this. Yeah, look, this is full acceleration. That's awesome. Again, I'll write up a guide in my Discord later today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I uh, hope you found this interesting. Remember to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. I'll see you guys next time.